Greetings folks, this is Clarence A. Mason, better known as Mason Weaver. Today is February the 3rd, 2021, and it's Black History Month. I want to chat, chat about that for a second, because we, we spend one month out of the year talking about black history, and are we really just complaining that white folks aren't teaching us our history? That's strange to me, as an adult black male, why would I expect anyone else to teach my history to me or my children? What, what's wrong? Are we saying that we are so handicapped that we have to demand that others collect information and teach our history to our children? Black History Month. Where is Chinese History Month? Where is Jews History Month? Where is Germans History Month? Why aren't we celebrating our culture ourselves? Our history ourselves? Uh, you want to talk about Black History Month? Okay, this is February 2021. This last year, last four years, we've had a record number of black people employed. We had a record low black unemployment rate. We had a, a record amount of money given by the federal government to black historical, historically black colleges. We've, we've had black folks earning 75% above minimum wage above welfare, above low income. We've had explosions in the black community in culture and business. That's history. Are you gonna teach that to our children this year? If we allow other people to give us our history, then why do, why do we let the same people teach us our history? They would teach you that you are a victim, that the white people owe you something, that we gotta protest for more minimum wage and not maximum wage. You wanna know your history? Everything we do ourselves, we succeed at. Everything we depend on others to do for us, we fail at. So as a young black militant, I decided I wasn't going to let anybody determine my, my direction in life. I don't need anyone to teach me my history. I studied my history. I don't need anyone to tell me my, my limitations. There are none. I just don't understand why we need a Black History Month. Okay, you want a black history? How about every demonstration of the civil rights era Every protest march Dr. King led, every sit-in, every demonstration was against the Democrats. That's black history. The Republican Party never owned a ghetto. There is not a ghetto in America owned by the Republican Party. That's black history. Uh, you, you, don't, you have these inner city schools that we send our kids to, and we're surprised they learn how to be good gang members. That's black history. Led by the same Democratic preachers and pastors and I call them slave drivers in our community. That's black history. If, if you want to know about black history, let's look at the Republican Party who was founded in the 1850s for the purpose of ending slavery. The Republican Party who came up and sent 360,000 of their brothers to go south to fight their own brothers to free strangers. That is your black history. You want to teach black history? For Why do we pick the shortest, coldest, darkest month of the year to start celebrate black history? We're Africans. Give me August. Give me the hot weather. But why do we have to concentrate our history in a time frame? How about black folks go out and make history tomorrow? How about black people stop allowing our babies to be murdered in our face? How about black people stand up and taking their rightful role? We want our freedom. It's time to take advantage of that freedom. It's time to live in that freedom. It's time to, to, to go out and celebrate what others sacrifice for, your freedom. Black history is developing a black culture. We don't have a black culture right now, folks. We have a slave culture. Give it to us but those Democrat slave owners. We have a slave culture. We didn't pick our food. We didn't pick our, our traditions. We didn't pick our, 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 our language. We didn't pick that. We're the only people on planet Earth that call our women bitches and hoes. That's black history. Black men, you owe black women an apology. We couldn't protect them on the plantation. I got that. We couldn't protect them. So instead of apologizing quietly to our women, we put them in a place that they didn't need protection. They didn't deserve protection. We start calling them bitches and hoes and making babies for a master for them. Instead, we should say, I'm sorry. We could not protect you then. We could sort of protect you now. What would happen, black folks, if black men decided tomorrow there'd be no more black women in our neighborhoods selling their bodies to survive? I'll tell you something. In Oakland, in the early 70s, brothers, with the Black Panther Party in full force in Oakland, you could not find a black prostitute on the streets in Oakland. You could not find 
black men selling drugs to our kids in that community. Uh, they had a visit and it won't be from the cops because those dudes were doing what they were doing for the community. That's your history. The Black Panthers marched on City Hall with guns. The Black Panthers patrolled the police. They had no police brutality because the Black Panthers patrolled behind the police cars with, with guns. We marched to the courthouse with guns. That's your history. Stand up your community. We have the strongest military the world has ever seen. Populated by 25% black men who only represent 7% of America. And they, they control and guard Afghanistan, Pakistan. They protect South Vietnam. I mean, I mean, protect South Korea, Taiwan. They protect the whole world. The most aggressive fighting force on the planet. And they come back home, leave their guns alone, and let Pook and Ray Ray run their kids. Black history, black men, arm up. Good black guys carry a gun. Good black guys supposed to defend the community. Good black black guys don't let bad guys control their wives and kids. You could not, you could not support nor protect your wife on the plantation. Brothers, you can today. Stop allowing other people to take care of your wife and kids. She can't do this. Black lady, you can't do this, woman. You cannot do this. Don't let nobody fool you saying you can do this. This take the heart of a male to take out the problems in our community. History? I got your history, folks. It's his story. You're free because he freed you, God Almighty. Therefore, act like you're free and stop relying on other people taking you and your kids. This is Mason. Stay right or be left. Eternity? It's a long time to be wrong. God bless you guys.